Hello everyone out there on the internet. Uh, this video is all about this wonderful tiny little soldering iron, the Pine Sill version 2 uh, from Pine64. I managed to catch these on one of the very short periods while it was in stock and wore a couple of them, as well as some miscellaneous other stuff like you can see the Pine Power Supply is there. Uh, that's a it's a nice little power supply for USB. I like it so far. So, I made a separate video for this, uh, primarily because I just wanted to show people how tiny it was. It's something that I feel didn't come across in other videos and pictures I'd seen, subjectively speaking, just how small this was in my hand. Not that's a bad thing at all, uh, especially for portable soldering irons I wanted for the field. It's great. Um, but that's a separate video. This is about the kit that I made, my little uh, field soldering kit that lives in my uh, low voltage tool bag. So that is right here. Let's pull that out. I will set my camera up here. You all get to see my lovely cat attacked feet. Vicious kitties. All right, so um, when I was originally putting this together, I think I went a bit, a little bit too big. This is the Maxpedition, um, I believe it is the beefy. Yeah, Maxpedition has a line of organizers. Uh, this is the one labeled as beefy. It is yeah, right about eight and a half inches by six and a half inches by well, currently close to three inches. Um, but I think they advertise it as like two and a half. It, it seems to be fine fitting more than two and a half inches of width, even on the inside, because it's it'll bulge out a little bit. Um, to be aware. If you just get this, it won't look nearly as nicely flat. I'll show you what that is in a second. Basically, this isn't a hard shell case. It has no stiffeners in it, so I added those because I didn't like how it was going. Um, we had some Tupperware containers that we had to cut pieces out of earlier, and my girlfriend kept the sides as crafting materials. So... I had some, or she had some spare, uh, just ABS plastic, uh, semi-flexible, semi-rigid, and not too hard to cut and shape. So I cut out a couple of panels for stiffeners so it wouldn't flop around too easy. It makes it feel a whole lot better uh, with those stiffeners. I, I would hate the feel of it otherwise. Uh, one's in there. One is in that little zipper compartment down there. And then there's just a, a single piece. I didn't end up needing to wrap the entire outside. That was not necessary. Uh, just the one book spine end, so to speak. Uh, did the job just fine. The whole thing feels nice and stiff when it's closed. So let's get into what's in the kit. Um, obviously right there we have the... Pencil V2. As you can see, the updated power specifications up to 24 volts in, up to 88 watts input. Uh, very nice little iron. Next up, my favorite solder sucker ever so far. This is the Engineer. Uh, it's a Japanese company. Engineer solder sucker. Uh, double S zero two and the fit and finish and the feel on this thing is just so nice. It is the nicest solder sucker I've ever uh, laid hands on. Um, it also has this little bit of silicone. Uh, it is high temperature tolerance silicone. Let's see if we can focus on that. So you can get this right on what you're soldering with your liquid solder. It, it won't damage this. It's perfectly capable of dealing with the temperatures. 
and you can form it around little holes and PCBs uh, without, you know, your typical soldering on or a solder sucker with a plastic tip gradually melting through. It also comes with, um, I'm not sure you can see it there, this little extra bit that you can cut pieces off to replace that. It's great. Let's put this back in. Um, this is just a tiny little Phillips that I had lying around for the set screw uh, that holds the tips in. This is temporary until the M2 by 4 millimeter thumb screws arrive. I have those on order, but they're going to be like a month and a half because I absolutely could not find. Um, a U.S. source for those, like, no matter how hard I tried. So, they're on Amazon, just M2 by 4mm thumb screws. They're not expensive. And, yeah, they'll eventually be here in like a month and a half. Okay, so, we have a few different tips. Basically, I ordered, they... For the tip sets, they're still selling the V1 tips, so these are the 8 ohms, and it's not the, the shorter 6.2 ohms. Uh, but I ordered one set of the gross and one set of the fine, and I picked out the tips that I wanted as spares, have them in there, and they fit pretty well. These are just a couple of precision uh, tweezers, locking tweezers. I thought that was neat, and... You know, for components and lifting a little bit of trace if you need to, uh, sharp pointed tweezers can be quite useful. So we have one curve set. And one straight. Not the highest quality tweezers I've ever had, uh, but they are, I would call them mid-grade, like fairly good. And they do what I need. Okay, so I wanted some helping hands and I really just couldn't find what I wanted for a field kit. like. Most of the stuff I saw was larger than I wanted. Um, some were okay looking, but I had some alligator clips laying around from previous projects from decades ago. And I also had um, some Night Eyes gear tie set that I'd used very few of, uh, and none of the little ones. So I put two and two together. Um, I just unbent these. I mean, these aren't going to tolerate high temperatures, but then if I, if these are just gripping bits of wire and they're gripping on the plastic sheathing or vinyl sheathing on the wire, then I really don't see any heat conducting this far down for like small soldering tasks that I'd be doing in the field. So I've made a couple of these for just junk I had laying around. And uh, this suits my needs fine. It also fits really well. Just slide in there and kind of nest in between each other. Okay, so I was looking at a few different power bricks or battery banks. Uh, this is... I think the actual name they have is ridiculously long. Um, okay, so the Anker 737 power bank, power for 24K, 2400 milliamp hour, 3 port, etc., etc., very, very long name. Uh, 737 power bank. Um, there's a gentleman online who did a comprehensive review on this and of course, the specs that are marketing specs are not accurate, but the actual specs, the actual watt-hour output on this 
is reasonable. Uh, so I'm quite happy with it. And I've verified that uh, the power output that it negotiates with the iron is perfectly adequate to make it heat up just as fast as the pine power over there does. That and I was considering buying a few different ones because you, know, you can send back what you decide you don't want. Um, but the way this fit, this kind of rectangular little literally brick shape instead of one of the flatter, wider ones, really worked out well in combination with this organizer because I can just fit it nestled right into the corner and then I still have the organizer space along here to use to wake up. Yeah, I love that little screen. Gives you all the specs on it. We can focus there. Tells you the current battery temperature, percent charge, uh, watt hour stored, etc. Yeah, I like it. Let's turn it off. Uh, you have the a couple of USB C outputs and one USB A, and the C one is the high wattage uh, output right there. Um, over here, I was trying to figure out something like uh, screw top tins or whatever to hold the tip cleaner. And I had ordered a few different sizes, um, kind of wastefully, like packs of 10 because I couldn't find anything smaller. And then I realized, wait, I can mush this around and change the shape and fit an Altoids tin, so I was able to cancel those orders. And this fits really well. Um, you can get just refills of the brass wire cleaner sponge, and yeah, stretch it out to make it longer, squish it down, wiggle it to make it flatter, and it takes to whatever shape you want fairly easily. And then I just took some aerial lashing wire, um, uh, double it up and made it more structurally sound just by twisting it into twisted double wire uh, with my drill there. Cut it to length I wanted and then made a tiny little soldering stand, which fits in with the cleaner tip. Closes up, it doesn't bulge out or pop it open. Next up. I love Nipex. Um, I knew for the soldering kit I'd want, you know, little small nippers. Uh, so these are their Nipex electronic super nips. Um, you can see the focus. Yeah, you can see the part number right there. Everything Nipex that I've ever had ever has been amazing for me. Um, as you, you know, may be able to tell. Nipex is just awesome. Uh, I've loved every tool by them I've ever bought. I have been happy with every one of their tools I've ever bought. They are amazing quality. Um, so yeah, the... Let's back up here. blades on those, nice and flush, uh, you have that little precision uh, semi-flat tip so you can get flush against certain things. Yeah, there we go. You can see it well. I love them. Uh, very, very nice. Let me just fit snugly down there. Over here, uh, this is basically a backup. A lot of the time in the field, I'll be like next to a, a door control system or an alarm system or whatever. And there's usually just a power plug. And if there is a power plug, then I won't be able to use it. So along with the Anker 737, 
I got their little Nano 2 65 watt. Very small, very compact. Just folds out. Um, I have used this with the iron and also verified that uh, the iron heats up very quick with this as well. And it's just the right size that, you know, it'll fit nice and snug in there. Next up, we have a little bit of solder wick. Good to have. It was uh, easy to include in the kit. All right, so what else do we have down here? Uh, we have the flux pen. Uh, sometimes flux is just... Actually, should we turn this down a little bit? not so washed out now so this is the uh, SRA 312 you know, sometimes you need flux it's good to have better to have than not uh, for solder the Kester 44 um, 63 and 37 down below that uh, we have the actual uh, we can move this out. These are also the uh, ones directly from Pine. The one meter, one and a half meter, nice silicone leads, uh, high wattage capable USB C cords. Oh, they feel so nice. Uh, nice quality silicone leads that you can touch your iron to and they won't melt through. And I believe that's it. Yeah. And it all fit really nicely together. Um, I could probably go down one size for the Max Petitions and get everything to fit in a little bit tighter package. But all together, yeah, this, this fits well for me. And it fits well in my toolkit, so I think I'm going to leave it as it is. That's it. Have a good day.